Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, people ages, how you guys doing? My name is Blocks, and welcome back to our Road with Phase with today's topic of YouTube. That's right. Now, before I get into the actual topic, I want to leave you guys with something in the background. Today, I wanted to play something a little bit different for you guys, and that is some MW3. I wanted to show you guys that I play a wide variety of games, and this is not just for Advanced Warfare. If you guys just want to see Advanced Warfare, that is perfectly okay. Just let me know down in the comments below, and I will eventually go back to Advanced Warfare. Right now, just recently, I've been playing a lot of MW3, and it's been really fun, and I've kind of enjoyed a lot of it. But if you guys don't like it, that's okay. I can go back. There's no problem with that whatsoever. So let's move into today's topic of YouTube. Now, YouTube is kind of a wide variety topic, and I wanted to kind of talk about my YouTube experience a little more than kind of YouTube as a whole and kind of see where I'm coming from and kind of where I'm expected to go. Now, with YouTube, I kind of haven't done the best that I could. I'm at almost, I have a little over a year right now since I put my first video up on this channel. Now that's awesome. It shows that for the past year, I have definitely enjoyed my YouTube experience and it's something that I've had a lot of fun doing and I would not rather do it. Now YouTube right now is just a hobby and that's what I expect it to be. I didn't do YouTube for the money. I know there's channels out there who do it for the money, but you can't. You cannot do YouTube right now for the money. If I wanted to do YouTube for the money, I wouldn't be doing YouTube because as I've seen through the past year, I haven't quite got the return that I've expected. And that's completely okay. Don't let me get you wrong. Just because I haven't got the return, I'm still going to do it. That's the point of a hobby. People don't go out and buy an RC plane so that they can go and make money off this RC plane. No, they do it because they like flying, and it's something that's really cool. Now, you're going to put a lot of money into it down the road, but it's something you enjoy, and if you can turn that hobby into, say, selling your RC planes, then definitely that's going to be a lot of fun. Now, I was kind of stumbling upon the Twitch interface on my phone. I was one day, I was today, today's Friday, and I was just kind of sitting downstairs, and I was randomly searching through the internet on my phone, and I managed to come across something called PAX East. Now, some of you guys probably know what it is, and don't let me get you wrong. I did not know what it was. I know it's like a big convention, but I didn't really know quite exactly what it was. So I did a little bit of research, and I noticed it's a big convention for Twitch and a lot of other people, YouTubers, and while I was on there, I caught a stream of Markiplier. I don't know how many of you guys know who he is, but he's kind of a big YouTuber. He's got almost 6.5 million people subscribed to him. That's a lot of people. I am maybe pushing 1,600 at a time, but 6 million people is a lot, and this gentleman kind of talked about some really interesting points, and that really made me think about my YouTube career. Now, he talked mostly about his channel and his YouTube experience at first, and I'm going to kind of break it down a little bit so you guys can get a first experience. Now, he kind of started off in the very beginning and managed to get 2,000 subscribers, and it was going well. He had so much fun doing it, and it was really well. Eventually, YouTube shut his channel down due to copyright. I'm not really sure he didn't quite go into it enough, and not a lot of it. But that was kind of where it was for me too. I recently YouTube put a restriction on me because I put in some unrelated comments tags way back when, uh, when my first channel started, and they just hit the slap on me now, just recently, and that kind of put an effect on me. But when I heard that YouTube had completely shut down his channel at 2,000 subscribers, that really made me kind of feel better about myself. YouTube kind of just was like, hey, we're gonna slap this six month fine on you and you're gonna be in a restriction, but we're not gonna take away your channel. They completely took away Markiplier's channel. Now, I understand Markiplier probably did something and it was probably unreasonable and probably not necessarily. Now, I did something, but I didn't realize it was as bad. I know the copyright and the co you should read the copy and the copyright code and all that and I didn't read that now that's a big problem but that was kind of okay now Markiplier after they shut down his channel kind of thought a bunch of other stuff in the middle of his his broadcast he talked about how he didn't almost want to come back how he thought YouTube was done he didn't think of it after 2,000 subscribers after he worked all that hardness to get that he was thinking about just quitting now that was kind of where I was. I wasn't necessarily quitting, but I was definitely shocked when I saw that. When I got a copyright strike, or not copyright, but a community flag 
error. I think that's what it's called. I don't really know. But I was kind of shocked by that. Now, I was almost not really quitting, but I thought to the point where, wow, this actually could go really bad and I could lose a lot of people and a lot of my subscribers. Now, when he lost his 2,000 subscribers, he kind of talked to a buddy and him and him were, or him and his buddy were kind of debating and they actually managed to start up a new channel. And through that, he kind of republished uh, his channel and 650 people from his old channel of the 2,000 came to his new channel. Now, I, if I were to restart, I don't necessarily have actual amount of people that watch my videos. Most of my video subscribers and views, for instance, are from my tutorials that really just seem to click off and people really liked it. Now, they're not necessarily watching everything, and if there was something that I could go back and fix, I would rather have people who watch my videos than one specific video and get a lot of views. Because right now, I don't necessarily see what the interest is. So back to Markiplier when he started his new channel. He uploaded every other video, every video that he had on his old channel to his new one. And out of those 650 people, those people re-watched every single video. They liked it. They showed their interest and in that they were glad that Markiplier was coming back. And that's something that I would really, that was, that was a great community. Because in times where Markiplier was down, the community came back together and helped him. They rewatched his videos, they liked them, they shared them, they gave them to the grandma. That is awesome. Now that is something that I wish I could have. Now right now, my audience is not necessarily great. I have that 1%, that one guy who's watching right now, I just recently put up two videos yesterday, or a couple days ago, and they don't have any views right now. Now that's completely okay, no one's going to get great in the very beginning. And through that, I've kind of just experienced, you know, people are not going to be great in the very beginning. Some channels have that opportunity, but others have to work for it. It's a hobby, you can't j and do something just because you're trying to get somewhere big. If you want to go, like we talked about a little earlier with the flight, if you want to go and have the biggest planes, you can't quite go that. You have to start off small. And through that, I have kind of have done that. I've kind of built myself up and allowed me to kind of experience different ex things. I've kind of worked on my Photoshop skills and kind of worked on that. In the very beginning, I had no clue how to work on Photoshop. But through trial and error, I've managed to pick up things in Adobe Premiere where I edit. I've kind of picked up things there. And I've kind of met a lot of people. Now, I haven't necessarily advertised my channel as much as I probably could have. Right now, I kind of just put up videos and hopefully it goes big. Now, that's not necessarily the best way to do it. I watched another video by some YouTube creators who were kind of just ways to get your channel from zero views, zero subscribers, to a bigger. And through that, they kind of talked about meeting people, talking to subscribers, going to other chat rooms like forums and kind of finding the games that click and finding a group of people that enjoy that and that's something that I haven't really done I don't have a Twitter account I don't have a twitch Instagram all I have right now is YouTube and a Google Plus that I don't even use and that's something that if you want to go big you have to kind of put that initial interest in and right now I really haven't done that I've kind of prepared for college it's my senior year right now and I'm kind of just building on that and that's something where maybe in the future when we actually try and want to see more success, we will definitely do that. We will definitely hit up more of the full stack members and collab with them. It's just something that I haven't really put a huge interest in. I've just kind of been worried about myself and my channel. But in order to get big, you have to meet tons of other people and show why they want to join you. If you and a fellow guy can get to playing, you have his subscribers and your subscribers that are both interlinking. And it's helping out both your channels. Now that's something definitely I want to look into and something that I'm really starting to think about. Now hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed my little YouTube spiel. I just really wanted to talk about and get that kind of off my chest. I was feeling pretty down earlier but after seeing Markiplier and some other YouTubers and kind of talk about YouTube as a whole, it really has put in a lot of perspective. Now I want to just leave it there and finish off the topic with saying thank you guys everybody for sticking with it. Hopefully you guys kind of enjoy this. I know I the background of the gameplay 
and my commentary did not match up like there I wasn't completely talking I wasn't even playing I pre-played that and I just decided you know those are some good gameplay and I put it up for you guys if you guys like that then let me know if you don't also let me know if you guys rather have liked me played and commented and done stuff like that and more interactive I can definitely do that but if you like where I'm just completely talking to you guys in the mic and that's definitely awesome too because I am happy either way I'm still gonna be putting up tons of other games and it's gonna go really well I kind of hope you all enjoyed this if you did please do me a favor down in the below and comment and then hit the like button and that shows that we're still doing really well I'm gonna do a flavor for you guys or a, I'm gonna do a flavor I'm gonna do a favor for you guys and try and definitely get out there more I may even create a, twi a Twitter page I don't even have Twitter as a personal guy but hopefully through that, we'll kind of do a little better. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope that you all have an amazing day. And please, don't forget to wash your hands. Bye now.